Greetings, Loveland. I'm City Manager Steve Adams, and in this weekly update, we are going to discuss upcoming changes to the face covering order issued by the Larimer County Health Department on May 3rd and the updated health data used to make those decisions. Before we begin, I'll start by providing you an update on the latest count of confirmed COVID-19 cases. There are 4.2 million cases globally, more than 1.4 million cases in the United States, 20,160 cases in Colorado, and 160 cases in Loveland. On May 3, 2020, the Larimer County Department of Public Health and Environment issued a public order requiring all employees and patrons of any business to wear face coverings inside the establishment and while waiting in line to enter. Since that time, Larimer County's COVID-19 case rate has further flattened and the number of deaths in the county remains low compared to other jurisdictions throughout the state. These health indicators have encouraged Larimer County to identify a new checklist of procedures each business can undertake to allow patrons to be unmasked inside various establishments. The new alternatives for businesses are expected to be provided at the end of this week and will likely include maintaining six feet of social distancing inside the store at all times, options for hand hygiene, and the use of plexiglass and other physical barriers to prevent the spread of droplets, amongst other items. While employees of the businesses will still be required to wear face coverings, this does provide more flexibility for customers if the business can meet the new requirements. For more information, please visit the Larimer County website at the address linked below. Now, you may be wondering what data was used to propose options to provide relief from face coverings. To help with that, I want to provide a brief snapshot of the Larimer County health data that was used to make this determination. As of March 31st, throughout major medical facilities in Larimer County, 78% of the ICU beds and 73% of the ventilators were in use. Fast forward to May 10th, only 54% of the ICU beds and 30% of the ventilators were in use. We have also made huge strides in testing facilities and turnaround times. There have been over 6,700 COVID tests conducted in Larimer County and only 7% of those tests have been positive for COVID-19. At the end of March, there were only 20 local testing facilities available throughout the county. Now, in early May, there are 500 sites to accommodate daily testing. Our testing turnaround times also improved dramatically. On May 31st, it took about seven days to receive results. Now those results are returned in 24 hours. Increasing the speed of testing data has allowed the county to issue isolation orders for those infected much faster, which has dramatically slowed the transmission of the coronavirus in our community. The outbreak sites across the county have increased from one in March up to six sites in May, but the delivery of PPE to sites in need has more than doubled from 110 deliveries at the end of March to 227 deliveries by early May. All of this data, plus the near completion of the alternate care site at the ranch, has better positioned Larimer County to respond to any resurgence of COVID-19 in our community and across the county. As we near the end of the Safer at Home phase next week and identify more ways to safely reopen our state, please know that valuable health data is driving these decisions. While the governor will wait until about the third week of May to make the next set of determinations, the residents of Larimer County and Loveland are moving in the right direction and are helping flatten the curve in Colorado by staying at home, wearing face coverings, and practicing good hygiene. We know many of you are eager to hear about swimming pools, dog parks, gyms, theaters, and other important facilities that still remain closed under the current orders. As soon as we have more information on these restrictions being lifted, we will pass those details along to you. 
I appreciate you for tuning in for another important update today. Please continue to stay inside and stay well. Thank you.